What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Uh, of course, today is actually Christmas Day for me here in Australia, so I want to give a huge shout out to everyone and making sure everyone has a safe and happy holiday period. I really hope you guys have a great day and uh, make sure to spend it with your family and friends. And um, But, you know, obviously, obviously there's big things happening today in Treasure Cruise. And, uh, man, I was out today. I really wish I was home so I could do, you know, this video a lot sooner. But, of course, I already knew what was coming in this uh, in, in this video and I'm really happy to finally, finally say that Roger and Odin are coming to the game. Of course, I did have a video prepared um, yesterday, you guys would have seen. Uh, well, the, it actually uploaded today, um, of course, with, uh, you know, that, that that video that, you know, yes, Roger is actually coming, but now we actually can talk about the characters, man. I, I've been wanting to talk about these characters, man. This is so freaking cool. And I know everyone in the community is absolutely losing their minds, uh, especially when the announcement first dropped. Everyone just lost their mind. So what we're doing in today's video, I've got the video up here on the side and we're going to just going to going to go through all the information that yoshi san um delivers for us today so uh let's just jump into it let's go ahead back over to here and uh and start watching this video let's go ahead and uh put the scrolls off and let's get going hopefully the audio is not too loud should be okay here we go there's the man there's yoshi san the absolute freaking legend and shout out to my man nick as well because i know that my man nick gets a bit of a shout out in this video too which is dope the second video message from from uh, my man yoshi lots of surprises in store there definitely were lots of surprise i'm sure many of you guys that are watching this video now have have already seen this video from yoshi but you know i wanted to go ahead and just and just go through it once again because this video is so good i'm probably going to watch this video like a million times because it's just awesome what they reveal here of course it's so so cool and yes this actual video was re was released on the japanese side and the french side and the korean side like simultaneous video release pretty freaking cool um and yeah this is it this is the big event that we're all going to be playing for the world cruise campaign um so obviously that entails every single version of the game and treasure cruise has been uh, has hit 100 million downloads which is pretty dope i'm pretty sure 100 million downloads i swear like treasure cruise has already hit that before i don't even know what the actual total is but i know that we have hit that before for sure um and it's actually kind of crazy i wasn't expecting yoshi to just go out of the way and you know reveal the characters first but i think you know because a lot of the marketing for the event actually has the characters on it they wanted to go ahead and show off the characters first um and dude i love that shirt that yoshi's wearing yo hook me up with a shirt yoshi hey there's my man nick i'm covering the screen unfortunately but there's my man nick shout out to that guy the clean transition let's have a look at the new characters dude everyone lost their minds when this stuff came out today oh my god i have already watched this video by the way if i didn't mention that before speculation was flying as to who would make an appearance and of course there was that huge leak that uh was obviously quite troublesome and i really wish that leak never happened but here is the official the official release and the official announcement of my man kozuki odin I love this announcement video that they have for each of these characters. It's so good! It's so sick. And that is his sixth star artwork, 100%. That is his sixth star artwork. The prodigy from Wano is here! Here he is! Oh, I love the voice acting too. So good! So good! Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it so much. It is so amazing. And uh, it is actually kind of crazy that Yoshi just goes out of his way to reveal um, the character information straight off the bat as well. Uh, I was thinking maybe that he might hold off on the character information, but no, he just goes out, out of the way and just reveals it straight away, which is kind of bizarre. So we can have a brief look over it today as well. So here is Kozuki Odin. Um, they, they're actually, I do have to mention this right here as well. Um, this is all correct, but the stuff in the next screen is actually incorrect. Um, there were a couple of issues with the English video. So uh, I am cutting off a little bit of his captain effect here, but this is his captain effect. It boosts every everyone's attack by 4.25. And it boosts everyone HP by 1.5. I'm covering the screen there, but that's what it says. Rainbow 4.25, Rainbow 1.5 health. And then he will go ahead and boost strength characters attack by 4.75 if they have a one or slot. So he is, you know, a rainbow captain in a sense, but he gives a higher boost to strength characters when they have a one or slot. And then obviously by having that, he also makes tandem slots into one or slots. And that's basically his captain effect. It's pretty straightforward, but it's a very good captain effect. Um, we saw that, you know, 
Luffy and Zoro had released previously um, last year on JP, earlier on in the uh, earlier on in the year for, for Global. And their captain effect was a lot lower in terms of multiplier, right? Like in their dual form, there are four times captain to free spirit and slasher, and they have that Wano slot um, conversion. But the thing is, is like Wano slots are so broken because it, instead of like a matching orb giving, you know, two times attack, Wano slots give you 2.5 times attack, and any orb boost that you have multiplies into that. So it, it's a huge boost that you get from having a Wano slot compared to a matching slot. And the fact that he's giving you Wano slots and you have a 4.75 multiplier, and he boosts strength characters, just one character that comes to mind straight away is Douglas Bullet, right? Like, Douglas Bullet is going to absolutely adore this uh, this brand new Kozuki Odin. Um, the artwork for the character is really cool as well. I don't know what they've done here, but the, the face of the character is not my favorite, but everything else I, I love about the artwork here of uh, Kozuki Odin. Um, and his special ability is very good too. So, so the thing to know about Odin's special is that he makes strength slots into Wano slots. And then it also says, well, that actually lasts for two turns. So for two turns, any strength orb you have is a Wano slot instead. But then he also says, changes the crew's own type slots into strength. So the thing about this is, is that the, uh, the effect here of changing all of your type slots into strength and changing strength slots into Wano, they all happen simultaneously. So any type slot that you have is just going to become a Wano slot. So that's freaking awesome. And then he has this really nice effect at the end. Boosts strength, slasher, and free spirit character slot effects by 2.5 times for two turns. And no, this does not mean that the character has to be strength, slasher, free spirit in order to get the orb boost. This means that any strength unit, any slasher unit, and any free spirit unit will be affected by this orb boost. And this lasts for two turns. This is a very, very, very good effect. So that's all of the uh, the captain and special of Kozuki Odin. Let's go ahead and move on a little bit past that because then we get the rest of his effects, which is his super type special, because he is a super type character. But uh, unfortunately, this is an error. Um, this super type uh, special is actually the next character that we're going to be talking about. So I guess uh, we'll refer back to that in a little bit. Um, but this thing at the top, in terms of the characters you need for your super type special, that's all the same. So Kinemon, Kanjuro, Raizo, Okiku, Shutenmaru, Dogstorm, Cat Viper, Kawamatsu. Big thing about that is that Kawamatsu currently does not have a character in One Piece Treasure Cruise. Neither does Denjiro, Momonosuke, Hiyori. Um, you know, we have Komorosaki, but we don't have a Hiyori named unit. And then Goldie Roger, of course, and then Edward Newgate. And uh, this is... Goldie Rogers super type special so we'll get to that a bit later but either way that's really really cool so let's go ahead and uh, and move past that so my man Yoshi just yeah here we go get ready for the next character after Luffy Tara and Zoro to have Wano slots so it is awesome that they're bringing Wano slots back that's a fantastic option to do that but here we go here's the next one with my man I love this so much oh my god this is so epic I love the voice acting too. Oh, there he is. There he is. The captain of the Roger Pirates. Goldie Roger is in One Piece Treasure Cruise. The king of the pirates is here. Indeed he is. I love the special animation too. Look at that. That's exactly from, you know, that, that chapter, dude. And Divine Departure. Oh, looks so sexy. Looks so sexy. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so mad that that leak actually happened. If that leak didn't happen, uh, like, I'm not saying that... It, it like derails the hype, but I'm just saying it would have been even more hype because people would have had no idea. You know, seeing Odin, everyone would have lost their shit. And then if Roger just drops out of nowhere, everyone would have gone berserk. Um, and of course, people are still saying, you know, this is actually confirmed now. So, you know, people are actually hyped about it because people are still, you know, speculating is it real? Is it fake? But yes, 100% Goldie Roger is coming for the New Year's Sugo Fetch. So that's awesome, dude. Um, and of course, here we have his abilities. This character is just one of the best characters in the game. Captain Effect. <sighs> This is the first character in the game to do this. Nullifies the effects of remove beneficial effects and remove accumulated damage value. So any red Haki effect or remove beneficial effects, he can just resist it by one activation on the enemy. So that's fantastic. And then he's a rainbow 4.5 attack, rainbow 1.3 HP, completely resists the crew's despair. Wow. And then uh, if you use his special divine departure for the next three turns, he's a five times captain instead, essentially. So... Look, Roger's looking pretty powerful. I'm loving this, dude. This character, this captain effect, one of the best captain effects in the game. The only thing I don't like about it is it, in terms of defensive-wise, it's not great defensively, but offensively, it's probably top three best captain effects in the game, just talking about pure offense. It's amazing, right? And then uh, his special ability is also really good. So it does a million fixed damage to all enemies. It ignores defensive effects, defense, and for the first time in Treasure Cruise, he actually resists normal attacks only. Oh, uh, yeah, the normal attacks only debuff. So he does, it's, it's essentially a million fixed damage no matter what. When you activate it, you're guaranteed to get a million fixed damage AOE. Uh, and then he was going to be a 
two, he's going to be a, a rainbow attack boost for your whole team. It is a two times attack boost for zero damage from normal attacks that this Roger has done. If this Roger has done 1.5 million, he does a 2.5 times attack boost. And if you've done 3 million normal attack damage with this Roger character, it's a three times attack boost to your whole team. A three times attack boost rainbow and remember you can use him as a sub too <laughs> i'm just saying but however if you do use him as a captain he will give any orb boost on your crew extended duration by one turn so obviously you can see that it works very well with kozuki odin who is a 2.5 orb boost for two turns you use his special then you use roger to go ahead and extend that to three turns and with his captain effect you the enemy cannot remove it because you have the captain effect to resist the remove beneficial effects so you're guaranteed to carry you know your uh your water slots and uh and your 2.5 all boost into multiple stages it's pretty freaking cool man uh, and of course there is the super type effect which will come up in just a second and as i said um this effect is actually what odin had so odin boosts the character's base attack by 1000 for one turn and then he changes his own slot into wano and then strength becomes super strength um and then before if we can go back to it if i can find it he's back here yeah this is it here so this is this is roger's super type special so it changes all character slots into matching through block orbs and then locks your orbs for a turn so again you can use it on a mini boss stage you have your odin special to give you a full board of orbs into wano you lock them and remember wano slots cannot be changed by the enemy so you're guaranteed to have, you know, a five times captain, full board of Wano slots, 2.5 orb boost for multiple stages. And then, you know, if you've got two Rogers, you have your three times. It's like, it's just bonkers, man. With a five times captain, removing despair completely, like... <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy it's so good all right let's move on um yeah so here is the artwork of the characters actually let's go ahead back let's go back a little bit here is the character artwork real quick uh, let me just remove my face cam real quick because uh I mean, these artworks look so phenomenal here. You got Roger and you got Odin side by side looking absolutely sexy. Look at the chads, man. Look at the chads. So good, man. I love this so much. Um, and then, of course, you've also got the, uh, act the actual campaign. So we're only halfway through the video and we've already got heaps to talk about. But um, I'm actually really interested to see what all of the event stuff is about because uh, I actually don't know much about the event. So I'm really excited to see what it's all about. So, okay, here we go. I just want to pause this real quick. So um, travel around the world with Roger and Odin, clear quests, and you'll get points depending on what items you drop. Uh, Roger and Odin will set sail on their journey with the adventure points collected by players from around the globe. So he's going to travel. Oh, there oh, there's Australia. There's my boys down under. Shout out to Australia. Let's go. Okay. So we've got the Asian region. Okay. We've got Europe. We've got the Americas. We've got Africa. Okay. I see you. I see you. I'm looking forward to this. And you got the little sprites of Odin and Roger on the side there. On the website, Roger and Odin will go on a journey. Yes, they will. And around the world using the adventure points collected by every player worldwide okay let's have a look at this real quick so each time they conquer an area everyone will get rewards okay area one two three four five six so you got rainbow gems times 15 times 10 so 25 gems 30 oh wow 55 gems just from that that's crazy you get a turkey a feast five of each of those tablets there as well um but based on the community rewards as well okay oh and we got some new characters here hold on so we've got uh it's a shanks and buggy Okay, I never even saw that. Number of quests, number of times Roger's Great Adventure cleared and Odin's Great Adventure cleared. By clearing a certain number of times, you can recruit the new Shanks and Buggy along with getting other great rewards. Okay, so the artworks look really cool. So that's like, that's like early, early Buggy. And then you've got Shanks where he was protecting Luffy. That's pretty cool. I'm interested to see what they're all about. And of course, both of those characters can help proc the super type special of Roger. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they're side characters, but I guess we'll see. We need a little bit more information about those ones. Details coming soon. I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait till we get details about this. Maybe tomorrow we'll get information. Maybe. Maybe the day after. We don't even know when the Sugarfest is going live yet as well. So <laughs> if you earn 500 adventure points in the World Cruise, you'll be entered into a lottery to win fantastic prizes. Okay, hold up. Pause, pause. One Piece Treasure Cruise New Year's gift campaign. Gift box giveaway. Collect 500 adventure points on the World Cruise and 30 lucky winners will receive official merch. Original merch. So we've got a box here with Treasure Cruise. We've got, that looks like a snow globe. You've got a hat. Yo, shout out to the Broskis with the hat. And are these artworks or are these like pins? Or they might be pins. I'm not too sure. And a calendar. A 2021 calendar. Um... 
The promotion is open to legal residents of Germany, Germany, France, and the United States. Oh, no. Oh, no. Australia got shafted again. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Feels bad. Is void in Quebec, Rhode Island, and where pro prohibited, restricted by law. Yeah, so unfortunately, it is what it is. Like, I, I know that in terms of them doing giveaways like this, it's very difficult for them to get, you know, the rights to actually send it to everyone in the world. So the fact that they even got additional countries in the first place is quite surprising. Um, look, you know, in terms of, you know, outside of the United States, the two biggest countries that, in terms of just playing One Piece Treasure Cruise, are definitely France and Germany, from what we've seen in the community. So, if they're going to choose two other countries to do it, like, that makes sense, but it is a little bit of a shame that they are still restricted to, um, to certain countries, but look, it is what it is, like, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, but this, this gift pack looks pretty sick, man. A pretty sick looking gift pack, I'm not gonna lie. So make sure you check. Yes, we'll definitely keep checking. And there's even more! Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So, let's aim to hit the treasure cruise social media campaign yeah right so i did see this actually um this is all based on the stuff on social media so if you go over to the twitter account if you go ahead and retweet the producer video and like there's lots of there's just basically a huge retweet campaign it's, what i would recommend is just go over to the treasure cruise twitter and retweet every single tweet that they have um in order to make sure that we can hit our goal and this is based on everyone around the world from from my understanding it's based on the japanese twitter based on the global twitter um share the optc producer video so ten thousand retweets on the producer video tweet which is on their twitter account of course we get 10 rainbow gems just for doing that so there's lots of different campaigns going on just make sure to go over to their twitter and just retweet everything that's the easiest way to do it just retweet everything get a lot of rainbow gems and uh, as i said this is also going on the japanese version as well so i would suggest going over to the japan twitter and retweeting a lot of their tweets over there too um and there's going to be parts two and three coming soon as well which also will give additional gems and rewards and stuff which is pretty sick um and that's all the breaking news that he has for us today i'm pretty sure yeah, and the rest is just my man Yoshi, uh, just Yoshi talking. So that's pretty much all the information that we have right now. This is arguably one of the biggest events that has ever been hosted in One Piece Treasure Cruise. I'm super excited for the official announcements of all these campaigns because, dude, I'm definitely going to be making videos over the next couple of days regarding all of this stuff whenever it drops. And of course, when the Sugo Fest goes live, whenever that is, I will 100% put everything aside and definitely be streaming it for you guys. It's going to be probably the biggest Sugo Fest in One Piece Treasure Cruise history, and I really hope you guys are excited for it because I'm I'm going ham. I'm literally summoning until I pull both of these characters. No doubt I am rainbowing them. I am plus whatever, 480-ing them. I'm rainbowing them. I'm doing everything. I'm, I'm going to limit break, expand them, whatever it is. I'm doing everything in my power to ensure that these characters are maxed out because these characters are insanely busted. So uh, that is basically it. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. And if you guys did, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.